So let's illustrate this issue of ambiguity with the following sentence, which is a quite short and rather innocuous looking sentence. She announced a program to promote safety in trucks and vans. And to a human, there's really only one plausible interpretation of the sentence. Uh, it's really not ambiguous. But as we'll see, there are actually several possible syntactic structures for this sentence um, corresponding to various different interpretations, most of which are quite unlikely, but all of which are nevertheless uh, syntactically well-formed. So let me give you an example of just a couple. So she's announcing a program to promote safety in trucks and vans. So um, you have safety first in trucks and secondly in vans. These two things are coordinated together. We have trucks and vans together. But under another interpretation, she could be announcing a program to promote firstly safety in trucks and secondly vans. So I am announcing a program to promote safety in trucks and also vans. Okay, it's a much less plausible, but nevertheless a potential interpretation of this sentence. Here's another example I'll give you. Okay, so on another interpretation, she could be announcing a program to promote safety where the entire program is located in trucks and vans. That corresponds to an interpretation where this preposition in is modifying the program. So the program is actually located in trucks and vans. Again, a crazy interpretation, but a valid one for this particular sentence. So you can play around with this, and you can actually find many more. I think I found 14 different um, possible syntactic structures for this particular input example. That's a, a surprising amount. And what you can basically see here is the, these different points of ambiguity multiply out to give different interpretations. So for example, I could coordinate trucks and vans, which is correct but I could coordinate vans and safety, which gives you another interpretation. This preposition could be modifying safety, or it could be modifying program. Actually, it could also be modifying uh, promote, or even announced. You're going to get many different interpretations under these different um, places that this prepositional phrase can, can modify the preceding words.